So today we are going to make gym fitness logo. So let's get started. From the toolbar, select this text tool and here write the text. Now drag the text and make the size bigger. Using Alt key, drag it and make a duplicate and edit it. Now drag it using Alt key and make one more duplicate and here write the text. Take this one little down. And now select this one and let's change the font from here. So here I am using ethnocentric font. This is a free font. And change the font for this title now select this and drag it and make the size bigger and from here expand it now ungroup it take this one at the center Now let's take direct selection tool and select these two unsure point using left arrow key, extend it. Now select both and uh, go to Pathfinder option and unite them. Now by using rectangular tool here, let's draw a thin rectangle. Let's reduce the length little. Now align them horizontally center and take this rectangle little down using down arrow key on your keyboard. And let's make duplicate using Alt key. Now select them, take shape builder tool using Alt key delete it and here make a gap using alt key and remove this extended shape let's create dumbbell shape using rectangular tool and now let's move the shape towards right hand side and place over it. Let's extend from both the end. Make duplicate using Alt key and drag it and reduce the length like this. So let's create one more duplicate using Alt key and reduce the length here. Select them using shift key and from here select this reflect tool drag the center point using alt key and leave it here Choose this vertical. Okay, and now take it right hand side select them and from here unite it Now select them and go to object path offset path here give negative offset And now, okay, let's change the offset color. And now from here, select this pen tool and draw a straight line using shift key. Now ungroup it. Only select this offset by using shift key. Select this vertical line, take the shape builder tool using alt key, just delete it. Delete this one. And now here apply gradient color. So we are going to mix three gradient color here. So if you double click at the color point, this color will come automatically and you can choose your own color. 
and let's change the color for those so here i'll apply white color our background is also white later we'll change the background after changing this color to white and this tool let's expand it and now let's change the color and this one i'll apply this gradient red color now let's draw the background using this rectangular tool and let's change the background color from here right click and send it to back and lock it so that this background will not disturb select this one this one using shift key and now use gradient color here so here i'll use two color one will be black and another side will be white so in white side i'll uh, remove the i'll give 100 percent transparency and now take this gradient tool and here fix the gradient color angle now it is perfect so for this red gradient color at the at the center let's make it little darken so that it will looks more attractive and nicer and here also increase the center color area in gradient now for this one let's give some offset so here we'll give negative offset okay change the color and now take this pen tool here draw a straight line using shift key and ungroup this text so if we don't ungroup it then uh, the text and the offset will not be separated now select this offset only using shift key select the line take the shape builder tool using alt key just delete it delete this line now select this down offset using shift key again because every time when you do multiple selection you need to press an alt shift key and apply this gradient now fix the gradient angle select it and drag it and group it now take this one here and make the size smaller by dragging it down using shift and alt key and place it here now let's take this pen tool and here draw a straight line from one end to another using shift key and let's increase the stroke of this line from here so let's change the stroke color so that it would be visible in ba black background reduce the stroke now here draw an alignment so that will will cut from both the uh, both the sides accurately now select it take scissor tool and cut to this uh, intersection point and here also now uh, let's delete this rectangle and now select this one let's change the color again take scissor tool and let's cut this uh, yellow yellow color uh, this line from both the sides and now select this one and this one and increase more stroke now select this and this one and increase more stroke now select them using shift key 
and expand it. After expanding, let's unite them and make it one shape. Now using this direct selection tool, select those points by using shift key and drag and make the corner round. Now make a rectangle here at the center so that both the sides it should uniformly cut and make a uniform gap. Take shape builder tool using alt key just delete it. Now let's change the color just pick this gradient color that's it and now we'll apply the effect for that go to uh, this brush and from here select the brush like this and take this brush tool select this brush and just uh, make the effect let's change the color to black and just drag it so those are the ready-made brushes ink brushes already given with the adobe illustrator software so just select different brushes and uh, just drag it using brush tool and make the effect like that so keep applying brush effects on your design you can also change the brush size from the stroke if you reduce the stroke size for the brush then the same brush will give different effects like this So our design is ready now. Hope you understand all the steps I did. See you in next video.